Greetings. I have a, three passages of scripture that I want to bring together to discuss the topic, why do believers leave their first love? And without trying to get too in-depth into it, it's fairly simple. And I think this, these scriptures show that. The first uh, comes out of the Revelations, and we, we hear that phrase, you have left your first love from the Lord, as he speaks to the church at Ephesus, a church that in all appearances was highly successful, uh, spiritual, and yet uh, if, with all the good things the Lord says about them, he says they have left their first love. And when you go to Ephesians, the, the um, book that Paul wrote to the Ephesians, you see that in Ephesians, uh, Paul says uh, in chapter 6, verse 11, Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And then he goes on, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Paul is admonishing the Ephesians or believers in general to put on the armor, the whole armor of God. So the tendency may be there for believers to actually not have put on the whole armor of God in their daily walk. And uh, Paul wouldn't have said this if, the, if uh, it was true that we did. So when we get to Revelation, uh, chapter 2, and the Lord speaking to Ephesus, he says, in spite of all these good things, you've left your first love. Well, that includes the fact that you have not always put on the whole armor of God. But why? Why is it that believers don't put on the whole armor of God? I think we can go back into the Old Testament and there learn from uh, the relationship the Lord had with Israel what happens when believers fail to put on the whole armor of God and then leave their first love. We're talking about the children of God, those who are saved, those who belong to the Lord. Well, what happens is that uh, eventually, with all the good things that seem to be happening in, in our daily walk, uh, personally and uh, publicly, um, that we begin to forget uh, that the Lord is in control of our lives and of the things that he's done for us. And he said this in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse, uh, uh, starting with verse 11, Deuteronomy eight eleven. he says, Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God. In keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, now, those commandments, those judgments, those statutes were not legalistic things to uh, keep these folk in line. These were given to them to help them so that they might be blessed by the Lord. But he said, be careful that thou forget not the Lord thy God. And when he goes on and explains that what happens is, he says, then... Uh, after all these things be multiplied unto you, thine heart be lifted up, and thou forget the Lord thy God. There it is. How do we begin to leave our first love? When in our hearts we forget the Lord our God, and we start taking credit for the things that happen. And here he says, don't be lifted up. Don't let your heart be lifted up, because I'm the one that brought you forth out of the land of Egypt. This is verse 14, Deuteronomy 8:14 from the house of bondage, and who led you through the great and terrible wilderness. And, and he goes on, he says, and, in verse 16, who fed thee in the wilderness with manna. Well, what goes on there is that they begin to forget. And uh, things go well for them, and they, in their heart, begin to trust in themselves and in their, their own abilities to get things done. He says, uh, be careful that thou say in thy heart, My power and the might of mine hand hath gotten me this wealth. There's the problem. 
How do we leave our first love? When we forget the Lord in our heart and start taking credit for the, the things that are being done in, in our world. Well, Paul said, put on the whole armor of God and enable, to enable us to stand against the wiles of the devil. And that means uh, staying in the word, being instant in season and out of season in the word. And trusting in the Lord all the time in our hearts and not in ourselves.